Hello and welcome to Top 5 Friday with me, your host, Tim Kant. And if you love traps as much as I do, you're in for a treat because we're about to run down the top five vaguely trap-related plugins. It's lit! We're doffing our cap to hats at five. Beat Machine 2 Electric Boogaloo is at four. Union Strikes at number three. Chords provide some sweet harmony at two. And Bass Synth takes our trap top spot. At five, hats by Audio Thing. Where would trap be without those rhythmic, snaking hi-hat sounds? No Esville, that's where. Hats is a plugin intended solely for hi-hat sound design and is based around a noise generator and two sample playback slots, allowing you to create both open and closed hand sounds. Each hat sample can be pitched and filtered, there's control of the noise grain amount, and you can make the noise stereo too if you like it wide. Add four reorderable effects, a bit crushing reverb filter and ring modulation, and an LFO for modulation, and you've got a spicy trap plugin, all yours for only $51 clams. I found hats slightly confusing at first, but don't worry guys, it's real simple. And I'm gonna to explain to you what I found out on my odyssey of discovery with it. So basically it plays two sounds, a closed hat and an open hat. You can play with MIDI. Amazing. Now, how these are made are uh, with a sample playback engine and a noise generator. Currently, only the sample playback engine is turned on. Um, and if we turn it off and turn on the noise, we can hear that. And you can turn them both on and have both sounds. Crazy. The noise section isn't actually using white or pink noise though. Apparently it uses six square waves to create its noise. God knows how, there's some phase wackiness going on. So what you can do is you can tune it with this grain knob. Let's do that now. So it's like a pitchy D tuney thing. So that's real nice and you can make it stereo as well if you so desire. You have uh, an envelope to control the amplitude of the uh, open and closed hats so we can make our open hat a bit longer. Maybe add some attack. No, that's a terrible idea, why would you? Um, let's make our, let's make something crazy with our long one, there we go. So yeah, you've got real degree of control. If you get tired of the noise, you could go for some samples instead and choose some uh, different samples. There's a whole bunch here. In fact, there's tons, including, of course, your uh, 808 sounds, which come in so handy if you're making trap. And of course, there are some effects as well. Let's have a play with these. Really crunch things up in an insane way if you really desire. Uh, we might as well turn that on. Oh yeah, there you go, weirdness. And you can also uh, do a bit of a modulation with this uh, LFO. Yeah, weirdness. Tons of weirdness, tons of presets. Hats all day and all night long, guys. At four, Beat Machine 2 by Dope Sonics. If you're looking for a drum VST that does the lot, Dope Sonics has got you covered for 60 quid. Beat Machine 2 lays down three eras of drum types, 90s, noughties, and 10s, each providing a ready-mixed drum kit that you can play with MIDI or use the included MIDI files to make things even easier. For a degree of customization, you can level and pan each of the kit elements to get a different sound. And there's an included filter, reverb, and hardness level too. Okay, let's check out Beat Machine 2.1 from Dope Sonics. Uh, it's a very straightforward drum machine instrument with five drum sounds. Boom, there you go. And a whole ton of different presets. Now, before we go any further, let me explain why I have these four extra audio tracks here. That is because with some of these patches, you'll see uh, some of them end in a one, some of them end in a four. The ones that end in a four are multi-output ones, uh, so you need the extra auxiliary tracks to uh, hear them. So this one, everything's coming out on track one. If we choose one with a four, you'll see they all come out on separate tracks. It's kind of a kooky way to do things, but whatever. So uh, let's listen to our little beat we've got here. Pretty straightforward, we can pan stuff. Oh, there we go. We can change the levels. Add some reverb. 
change the hardness, which is basically kind of a volume level thing. Uh, do a bit of filtering. Oh, we need to select a filter type. And there we go, and there's a bit of a high pass as well. And usefully, we can uh, tune stuff as well. Oh yeah. So there you go. I mean, it's real, real simple. Um, I guess the main selling point of this plugin is there are just tons and tons of uh, different kits. Let's have a listen to a few of them. So you've got some boom bap. It's a kind of like a mid era sort of, maybe Neptunesy sort of style stuff. So yeah, just an absolute ton of drum machine presets with Beat Machine 2. And 3 Union by Soundspot. Union can of course be used for any type of music, but its simplicity and tone make it great for loud, in-your-face sounds. You get two 32-voice analog-style oscillators and a third oscillator, which uses a wavetable generated from combining those first two oscillators together. Not only that, but you get a bunch of effects too, plus loads of modulation options. It might retail for 120 squiddies, but would you believe it's on sale now for a minuscule six pounds? So why not check it out? Union is a weird little wavetable synth. I've never seen a wavetable synth quite like it. Let's check out how it works under the hood. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna know is, if you click on the preset manager, and select init preset, that's the way to initialize the patch, which is very useful if you want to program the synth from scratch. So here we have two oscillators. Oscillator one is set to a saw, oscillator two is set to a sign. If we play the synth back, what's it sound like? Sounds like a saw and a sign. Then what we can do is we can generate a wavetable. And if we turn oscillator one and two off, uh, we have just oscillator three active now. We can hear the wavetable. It's static. Um, if we bring up the wavetable page, we can cycle through it manually. So that's pretty simple. Let's make something a bit more complicated. Um, this, the, the generation of the wavetable will reflect the stuff that you do to the uh, oscillators. So let's, let's turn up some unison voices. Let's add some reverb and distortion. And all of these will affect the new wavetable generated. Also, you've got to remember to turn these back on or it won't work. So we generate wavetable again. Oh, now that looks a bit more interesting. We'll turn off the oscillator so we can just hear oscillator three. Oh, there we go. Fabaruni. Okay, we've got something a bit more interesting. So we can modulate the position of the wavetable by um, using one of these modulation source slots, which we can set to the ADSR source or the LFO source. So we set it's purple for the ADSR and blue for the LFO. So there you go. And you can make some grindy, crunchy noises and then distort them and reverb them and add all kinds of uh, other effects after the fact. So yeah, so that's Union in a nutshell. It's a combination between some straightforward virtual analog stuff and some kooky kind of wavetable stuff. So yeah, worth checking out. A two chords by Loom Masters. This rompler lets you combine 315 inspirational samples of played chords and has a classic sampler style that repitches and retimes them across the keyboard for that old school feel. You can select the onboard chords by major, minor or note types and there are also the usual synthesizer elements like envelopes, LFOs, 12 filter types plus chorus delay and reverb modules and a sound booster on the output. If you're looking to establish a feeling instantly, Chords is a great place to start and it costs a mere 70 pounds. I flip in love Chords, guys. Uh, it sounds great. It's very easy to use. And the included sounds, uh, but to my particular taste, let's say that, for example, I'll just play you the init patch. Yes. Sinister vibes all day and all night. What else have we got in here? Oh, sing it, baby. Oh, yeah. Rave vibes. But hey, it's not all your, your sinister 90s club stuff. We've got a bit of... 
Yes, mate. Perfect for all your, your trappy styles. And there's tons of other great sounds in there. You can find out about those yourself. I'm just going to show you what goes on under the hood. Uh, it's basically based around two sample playing layers. We've got a chord layer and a note layer. They both do the same thing, really. Um, what I'll do is I'll turn down the level of the note layer so we can just hear the chord layer. And we can see we've got a minor sample at the moment, a minor vocal. Let's have a different minor vocal. Yeah, wicked. What else? Let's have a bit of a uh, bit of a synth thing. I'll go for horny dub. Oh yeah, a bit of techno vibes, whatever. So let's choose a major one. We we'll go for Amy E piano. Nice. And then we can choose a note layer. So we could actually open another chord down here, or we can choose one of these root or open notes, and that will provide us with a sort of bass. So we'll choose bass guitar one. Oh, lovely. And then we could just, you know, choose a different sample on here. Oh, yeah. And then choose a different thing here. So it's really easy to make loads of cool things. And hey, if you're clever, maybe you can layer up a bit of a minor and a major chord, the relative or whatever, and do a bit of a transposition, get it sounding nice. There's a little tip for you guys. Also, I should point out, that's not the sum total of the interface. You also got this stuff with loads of effects as well. So yeah. Oh. Heavenly vibes from your lads at Loot Masters with chords. And at number one, it's Bass Synth by Wave Alchemy. At 150 quid, Wave Alchemy's Bass Synth, it doesn't come cheap, but it's capable of all manner of bassy goodness. This Robler pays tribute to some of the best bass synthesizers from the history of music technology and combines them into new electrifying hybrid patches. If you want to whip up a sound with the low end weight of an 808 plus tantalizing harmonic details on top, this one's a go to. Bass Synth is a contact library, but if you don't own Contact, fear not, because you can use it with the free version Contact Player. Booming! So there are tons and tons of cool presets in Bass Synth, with loads going on in them. Um, there's plenty of 808s. We've got Grubby 808 loaded. It sounds sick. Really lovely. You can muck about with the sounds from the performance pages. is real easy. So, and that'll have an even more dramatic effect on sort of non a to aid sounds. What I want to show you real quick is how you could make your own patch from scratch in this thing. Let's select the init preset and that'll reset everything. But it will load up kind of a random selection of sounds. So we go to the design page. I'm going to turn these four sample players off to leave us with just this one. That's cool, but what we want are, yes, the subs and 808. So we select subs and 808 in the source section, and then we can select from a variety of sounds. Let's see what the growling 808 is like. Oh my goodness, a bit Reese. What about the ladder? Ooh. Banging. What I want though, really, is your classic 808. Ah, oh, the reassuring sound of Roland's lovely low end there. And of course you can load up a load of other voices. We're just gonna use this voice um, and we're gonna load an effect on it. And it's simple as selecting one of these slots, choosing an effect. Let's have some bit crushing. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. When 808s go out of control. We can muck about to our heart's content. So that is just the real, real basics of making a patch from scratch in here. There's loads of macro stuff you can do. You can make it really complicated, but if you just want to get your hands on those juicy, juicy, pure 808s, that's how to do it. Okay, Zoomers, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for. I've got to get back to grinding on the block, which is not a euphemism. Please ring my little bell and I'll see you next time for some more musical madness. Peace.